three to three and a half inch round, 80, 20 ground meat. Smash burgers on the Blackstone. Let's go. First, I'm just gonna add these right on. No grease, no nothing. Been preheating this at medium for a while. Now we're gonna take a spatula and just some parchment paper. Hopefully this works and we're just gonna squish them down. Smash! Be better if I put the paper on the burger. There you go. I'm gonna let these cook just a minute, wash my hands, and then we're gonna throw some grilled onions on. So on this side, I left it empty for a reason. A little olive oil. Onions. And in case you want some, got some old good old jalapenos. Now you want to have everything you need to do this cook ready because when you smash these down, everything's going to cook super fast. See it all getting along here. I'm going to start down here. Now, some of these did stick a little bit. You could have added some oil. It would have helped prevent that. Uh, I may not have had it quite hot enough, but it, either way, if you get that, you're gonna be fine. And this stuff's gonna clean up easy. As a matter of fact, stay to the end of the video, and I'll show you how I clean this up right after the cook's done in no time flat. You can see it, they're starting to they turn over real easy now. Gonna flip them one more time. And they're already ready to build a burger. Let those cook a minute though, and let's get these grilled onions done. I'm gonna crank it up on this side. Add a little bit more olive oil. Got that grilled onion smell coming at you. It's gonna be so good. If you uh, don't want jalapenos in it, you'd wanna keep this separated. But we're all good with it mixed, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all in there. At this point, I went ahead and killed the power on this side. Just let it stay warm while we finish the rest of this. What's great about four burners, you can, when you no longer need to cook something, you can just turn it off. It'll stay warm for quite some time. It'll even cook a little while. Those are starting to look about right. Nice and just gonna add a little bit of grilled jalapenos, a little bit of grilled onions on the bottom. A squirt of mustard. American cheese right on a patty. Place that right there. Make you another patty, place that right there. 
that's going to start melting that cheese. We didn't add any salt and pepper during the cook. You're welcome to, but I'm going to add it right now. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Bun on top. Now, like I said, this cooks rather fast. From start to finish, it's no time, and you have this. Mm. This has become one of my favorite ways to make burgers. You're gonna love it. Try it, squish it right on the grill, make smash burgers, it's excellent. Now, I'm gonna show you how to clean this up as soon as I get all this off. Like I said, I would. So I did go ahead and finish my burger, which was fantastic. So this has been sitting here cooling for a little bit. And the way I did it was one method. Another way I do it, which I may do another video, is when your burgers are all sitting here, just go ahead and add the cheese, let it start melting and build it. That will get you a better melted cheese. But this is a great way to do it. If you have people that may or may not want cheese on their burger, and you can help let them decide. Now, you can see this right here, this little scrubber. All you have to do, this has been cooling and it's been turned off, is just go right down. This is all I do to clean it, which is something you want to do right after you get done cooking, or while it's still warm at least. You can always reheat it, but you don't want to neglect. It takes very little time, a little more than usual this time because I do have a little bit more scrubbing required. And you can see it's already cleaned up pretty nice. If you have an area, you can add a little water. When it's hot, it will sizzle a little more. It's not too hot right now, but it's still warm enough where it's breaking off. And just make sure you kind of get around the edges. Just have a couple of basic rags here, and I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it down. This part you'll want to make sure, you know, it's uh, not too hot to burn the rags or yourself. If you do have some areas that need a little extra scrubbing, you can add a little water here. Everything seems to be doing just fine. You can use paper towels, but I find just reusable rags you can wash and reuse, saves you money. Then I'm just going to add a little layer of oil before I'm done. Olive oil, canola oil, whatever you need, whatever you have, and we're just going to rub it all in. And you're pretty much done now. Just going to put the cover on. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and subscribe. My name is John Barry. This is Oki Smoking Outdoor Cooking. I'll see you guys in the next video.